Hi, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home, and I have a DIY trick for you to save at least 1200 bucks on the end of your project. Oftentimes when you're building a home, or even a small home, or a custom home for yourself, you run out of money, especially at the end. And one of the last things you have installed is a garage door, and that extra thousand, fifteen hundred, or eighteen hundred dollars, which is what I was bid to have a garage put in, you start saying to yourself, mm, can I do something to get by at least for the next year, two years, or five years? So I was on a job site and my client was running out of money and I said, hey, let's just build some doors for you, save the 1800 bucks, put the garage doors in later because he wasn't going to use this garage for very much, uh, not opening and shutting it a lot of the time. So we built a garage door for him and this is a swing one and there's a simple trick to this building this door and it's all about building a box. You lay it on the ground, you build a box first and this is your exterior perimeter box like this and then you want to have a hinge. This here is the real strength of this door. It doesn't sag at all. Once you put a hinge in there from the bottom up, just think of it as a fulcrum holding that door at the base right here, your elbow. And that is holding that door as it swings. So it's not going to sag. So the trick is once you build a box, you take this two by six or two by four, you can build it with a two by four as well. You take it beyond the the frame and beyond the frame and you lay that flat and you put the frame on top of it and you you score it on the inside you've got a perfect flush fit that way when you put this door together it's not going to sag and that's the trick to this door i think i have some pictures that i can show you on this video as well as how i scored that the rest of it's all uh, cut in piece and filling it in and one of the tricks to this is making sure you get some hinges that can handle at least uh, uh, quite a bit of weight i ended up putting four hinges on this door and I took some extra long lag screws because I need some extra support on there because I'm going all the way into the stud work. And I put one extra of these on there rather than the short ones. A lot of the times on hinges they give you, they're really small. And I wanted some extra support. So I have one of these on each one of those hinges. And each one of those hinges can handle at least 175 pounds. So four of those adds that up. You've got a really strong door. We built this for under $300, saving my client quite a bit of money at the end of a construction project. Now and a couple of years later, <clears throat> these can come out very easily. And if you wanted to, you can have a nice garage door put in there. But this was a quick and easy way to save at least $1,000. Again, I was bid $1,800 to have these garage doors put in. I know that's a little pricey, but that's a fully insulated garage door. Later on, we can put some rigid foam insulation in this door to really make it insulated and well protected <clears throat> and we put some elastometric paint with some felt mesh on top of it so if we do end up using this for a long time it's actually going to last for quite some time a lot of the times when you're at the end of a job and you're having these extra finished things come on it can really start to rack up so an easy way to save some money real quick on a saturday afternoon with a family member you can build these doors and put them up it's not that hard take a look at some of the hardware the, the look of it <clears throat> Once you see that it's how it's put together, it's not that hard to lay it on the ground, nail it all up. One of the tricks is to at least allow for a quarter inch on both sides of the door. That way you know you have some flexibility in the movement of it. The other trick is, if you want to come inside here, <clears throat> is once the door is put in, I got a trim all the way around here so it actually keeps it nice and flush. We put some gasket in there so it's a clean seal all the way around. And then we have some latches here that will lock that door, keep it nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. Quick and easy way to build a garage door when you're not going to use it that much. Save some money at the end of your build. And then later on, put the door in you want. But I think we're going to keep with these doors for quite some time.